ஹலோ வேர்ல்ட் குட் மார்னிங் குட் ஆஃப்டர்நூன் குட் ஈவினிங் வெல்கம் பேக் டு கோடிங் சயின்டிஸ்ட் டாட் காம் ஒன் ஆஃப் த மோஸ்ட் எக்ஸைட்டிங் அண்ட் பியூட்டிஃபுல் இன் டிமாண்ட் சீரீஸ் ஆன் இஎஸ்பி தேர்ட்டி டூ இஎஸ்பி தேர்ட்டி டூ கேம் அண்ட் இஎஸ்பி எயிட்டி டூ சிக்ஸ்டி சிக்ஸ் கைஸ் வி ஹாவ் ரீச்ட் அ ஃபார் வே ரைட் யூ ஹேவ் சீன் சோ மெனி எக்ஸசைஸ் இன் த பாஸ்ட் இன்க்ளூடிங் த ப்ரீவியஸ் லெசன் விச் வேர் ஐ ஷோட் யூ ஹவு டு ரன் அ வெப் ப்ரௌசர் பேஸ்ட் வீடியோ ஸ்ட்ரீமிங் யூசிங் த ப்ரீ பில்ட் எக்ஸாம்பிள் விச் கம்ஸ் அலாங் வென் யூ இன்ஸ்டால் த இஎஸ்பி தேர்ட்டி டூ கேம் போர்ட் ஆன் ஆடினோ ஐடிஇ நவ் வாட் வி டிட் வாட் வி ஆர் கோ நோ டூ இஸ் வி ஆர் கோ நோ பிக் அப் தேட் கோட் அண்ட் டூ லாட் ஆஃப் மாடிஃபிகேஷன் டு யூ நோ கஸ்டமைஸ் த ஜிஒஐ ஆன் த வெப் அண்ட் ஆல்சோ ஆட் அவர் ஓன் அல்காரிதம் டு டிடெக்ட் multiple colors and objects that's what we are going to see in this lesson so basically you know i will show you how to build a color detection model on the web browser using opencv.js and opencv tools those of you who do not have the opencv background the computer vision background do not worry those of you who are totally new to python and c++ and arduino do not worry send a message to me i will set up a one on one zoom call with you i will train you from zero to hero but in this lesson it's like a fast track we are straight away going to jump into the code which i built and we are going to run it i am going to share the source code through my github you may use it guys who are having good hands on experience in this field can directly plug and play and do the modification for those of you who are totally new do not worry at all i'll help you out one on one so the open cv tools for esp32 camera web server environment is what we are going to build we are i'm going to show you what i have built already and i did pick up some of the codes from gitups and open source right so as an example we will build a esp32 camera web server that includes color detection and tracking of a moving object a object is moving you can focus on that pick up the object do the hue saturation and 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 you know pick up the right balance of the color of that particular object and then the opencv.js basically runs in a browser which allows rapid trial of opencv functions by someone with only a very little background in html and javascript so if you guys have some very basic knowledge on html and javascript it it's going to be easy even if you don't understand that is fine no problem just follow the instruction what i gave you in the previous lesson and in this lesson you will be good to go operating your esp32 cam with a browser and do the color detection if you want to get into details of the code line by line code i'll be happy to guide you help you one on one so those with a background of esp32 camera application in the last previous lessons have this background already it should be ideally easy all right so entire source code is on my github i am going to leave the link below uh, this video uh, uh, to build a web server that will allows the color tracking and moving the object and ton loads of other things can be built using the same code which is going to be in the next lesson all right on the web server interface you also play with several configurations to properly select the color you want to track right there are ton loads of buttons and grids which i provided you can go ahead and play around with all those buttons i'm going to show you a demo right now then the browser will basically send the real time x and y coordinates of the center of the mass or the moving object all right to the esp32 board remotely everything is going to be like a magic guys so basically you know the source code is split into two different files one is the ocv underscore color track dot ino which is your arduino code which basically contains the server program and then the index underscore ocv underscore color track dot h that is the header file which contains the client program that is your html and css and javascript with opencv js so that's what i have that's the kind of architecture i have used in this so let's let's go ahead and uh, look at my github i'll just show it to you share my screen so if you go to my github go to esp32 cam section under my github account all right scroll down where is that it's here color tracking on the web 
this is the section you are going to go into right go ahead and download this ocv underscore color track dot p dot zip file dot rar so go ahead download this file once you download you will get this kind of folder all right in this folder there are three different subfolders one is the data which is where you will if you want to save the images you know you can save it automatically you can click and save it here it it will come into this particular section and then there is a file there is a ino arduino file call ocv underscore color track so you can double click open it and it's going to open up on your ide once you open as i said guys go ahead and you need to put your ssid it's very important you need to put your wi-fi id here okay and you need to put your password here make sure you make these changes do not just blindly follow what i am saying you just have to change only your wi-fi user id and the password and couple of other important thing guys i want to talk about it's it's very critical right so esp32 is a pretty uh, esp32 cam module is a pretty tricky to do the programming and uh, connecting the ftdi uh, wires and stuff right so in the previous lesson i showed you some of the thumb rule make sure that before you download from my github make sure you follow those thumb rules so what are those thumb rules you got to follow the circuit you know make sure that you are connected to 3.3 volt not 5 volt 3.3 volt while programming while uploading the code into esp32 module all right 32 cam module make sure it's in 3.3 volt guys you know do not put it in 5 volt and then follow the thumb rules which i shared you in the previous lesson make sure that you don't use a long wire long usb wire use a shorter cable a shorter jumper wires between ftdi and esp32 cam and then once your program is loaded remove the wire from 0 to 3 uh, the jumper wire in the esp32 and also make sure your jumper wire jumper uh, switch the the button in your ftdi is moved from 3.3 to 5 volt after you upload the program after you upload the program it's very important and then you need to change the wire again back to your 5 volt in esp32 cam that is very important guys make your win pin the win pin should be connected to esp32 cams 5 volt pin or 5 volt 5.5 volt that is after you load the program so make sure that you follow this and then you come back to uh, github download the program and let's take a look at it now so once you are connected guys uh, of course i i already uploaded the program there are two sections here ocv color track and there are also index this is for the client side this is for the browser side which you are going to see right away if you want me to explain all this code i'll be very happy to walk you through i'll systematically i can train you do reach out to me i'll be happy to take a one-on-one -on -one zoom call and train you guys from zero to hero all right now let's go ahead and click the serial monitor and let me press the reset button let me press the reset and there you go i should get my ip address which i haven't got okay there you go fantastic so it's 192.168.0.100 so i am going to open the browser 192.168.0.100 100 there you go and this is your beautiful gui for tracking the colors guys this will lead to artificial intelligence over a period of time since we already got into the open cv aspect on the web over a period of time in the next couple of lessons we will do several ai aspects all right now what you need to do once you get this gui you don't see anything right you might be wondering so click on reset board button all right let's click on color detection and then click reset there you go it takes few seconds now my camera is in a tilted position let me just change it upward down it got hung let me refresh the web all right now color detection there you go let me change the camera position 
this is best thing is the soldering guys you know we 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 just cannot rely upon the jumper wires connected to ftdi and kind of thing anyways from next lesson onwards i am i am planning to do take a normal uh, the plain pcb board and solder it properly and keep it as a small handy stuff i am going it, to it's pretty easy so now the camera is straight now what we can do is we you can you can adjust the brightness here you know you can zoom on a particular object so let let me just zoom it on a specific object near me and uh, let's see what i have so i have a small camera behind me and couple of robots there you go the hue saturation and then we need to zoom let's let's target a zoom on that particular camera okay the contrast the hue saturation now what rgb there is also rgb color track bar we can just oops it became too dark so you got to play around in such a way that you, your your esp32 cam is completely focused on one particular object you have to play around with all these track bars and set the rgb minimum and maximum in such a way that you are perfectly targeting that particular object just imagine guys once you once you logged into that particular object you can do turn loads of magic and then you can see show count contours and tracking and you can invert it color probe all those stuff in this gui it's a magic guys you can go ahead and play around you know track the color lock on the object all you need to do is play around with this particular variables all these variables you need to set the threshold for the binary you need to set the color probe x axis versus y axis how you want it and change the quality brightness and contrast and then the rgb color track bar you can set all this on the web it's not a it's not a client application it's it's on the web right you are you are doing it on a real time so once you are ready with this guys uh, you know what we will do is go ahead and leave me a message what what kind of modification you want to do on this browser i will get it done for you i will do it myself or i have my teams who will do it for me and i will share it with you guys if you want to do some custom build project on esp32 cam we are also going to build a robot right as a part of this series i will also show you how to build a small rover let me show you i think i already have it with me i built it i tested it and it perfect so this is the small rover which i spoke about in the beginning of this lesson this is the chassis this is the esp32 cam it's all bread border i am going to take a separate uh, session on this there's going to be one or two videos about this and you're going to operate this bot remotely on the web browser do the color detection it will follow a human you can you can show specific object which has been already detected this rover is going to follow behind that and all those things you know there there are ton loads of things going to come on this series guys so stay tuned i'll be back to you goodbye